we spend our lives on the internet. So we're no longer really interacting with people in the real world. You know, even if you're walking down the street, you're on your fucking cell phone all the time. You go home, you chat on Facebook. Probably most of your friends, you chat with them more on Facebook than in person. <laughs> or on WhatsApp more than in person. It's like you'd rather text. Relationships now, guys would rather, they like the relationship where they text more so than in person. It's crazy. There's that saying like long, you know, long distance relationships don't work. At this point, we're getting more and more hooked on the long distance. It's like we'd rather get our little hit of text and let our imagination fill it in. And then it's kind of in person. You're like, eh, there she is. But then you get your hit when you're like traveling. It's crazy. Like I have friends like that. They're, they'd rather be further away and they rather, they keep going for girls where it's like long distance just so they can get the high off the text back and forth. So it's kind of weird. I mean, it's awesome to have the internet, but in a way it's like we're more connected yet more alone, you know? Um, even in terms of socializing, like back in the day, you know, before we were all born, before the internet, um, most likely you finish work, you go home, and you have a need to socialize. You have a need to talk to people versus just be fucking isolated. And uh, because you can't just jump on a computer, you get out of the house and go talk to people. You go out and do shit. Right now, you can virtually fulfill that need just at home. You're like, oh, I need to socialize. Jump on the computer. Chat on Facebook. If you get a fucking video game like uh, World of Warcraft, not only do you socialize, now you have a purpose. It's fucking crazy. It's like, that could be your purpose. And there's the friends, the alliances you have, you have like different missions, you level up your characters, you're growing as a character too, you have that sense of fulfillment, yet you're staying the same. You're just virtually doing it. Now, I still think it's fucking cool. I mean, it's crazy with technology, but on your end, there's still that little need you know, left unfilled. And what's happening is we're spending so much time in the virtual world that we can't really interact normally anymore in the real world. People have gotten less and less socially savvy, you know, um, meaning there's a certain context in different interactions. There's a certain context even in this room here, say when asking certain questions and people just can't grasp it. And what happens there's these weird, awkward interactions now where you're acting in the real world as if you're online. And it's super weird and it communicates such low value and it just kills a lot of opportunities for you. If you see two different interactions happening, you should get a feel emotionally for what's going on. And say in one interaction, like something we talk about a lot is giving value versus taking value. If you see an interaction where it's like taking value, you'll get a certain feel for it. If it's giving value, you get another feel for it. And I showed you know, footage of say me interacting with all these people and I'm like, here's the difference. And more and more guys, couldn't see the difference. They would need a logical explanation, but they couldn't feel the difference. Now, this is not necessarily your fault, it's just the direction we're going in, and this is the cool thing about going out and socializing with people. And it doesn't matter who you are. You know, it's like, go out, and like, as a little daily ritual, every day, just talk to three new people. If you just do that, you will get so much fucking value, because that's how you develop that social intelligence. And then, as someone said here, it's like, start noticing the different dynamics. Start asking yourself, okay, what was the person thinking or feeling? Don't just get so caught up in you, 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 because that happens too. You're going up, you're like, what about me? <gasps> Will they see the little wrinkle in my shirt? Are they judging me? Can they see this? Oh my God, what are all these other people thinking of me? It's like me, me, me. It's like, get out of your head. Okay, what about this other person? What are they feeling? What are they thinking? What happens if I say something like this in this context? What if I say it this way? Huh, okay, that doesn't click. What about like this? And then you start recognizing different patterns. That's the key to social intelligence. It's massive social references and pattern recognition. You go out and you interact with thousands upon thousands of people. You're gathering more social experiences than most people would in their entire fucking lives. And then you start getting a feel for what's appropriate and when, and that's a fucking skill set that more and more people are lacking. Social intelligence is knowing what is appropriate to whatever context you're in. At that moment in time, there's always a certain context, there's always something that is appropriate, something that is considered common sense, and something that isn't. Right now in a seminar like this, for example, if I'm talking right now about social intelligence, we're building up towards a point, we're exploring this topic, what, that's the context. What would be inappropriate if right now in the middle of a sentence, Julian, Julian, oh, what, what's your question? Would you like to add on to what we're talking about? Uh, how, how do I text a girl? <laughs> That would not be appropriate to this context, okay? And what does that communicate about that person? Not to diss that person and not to scare you from asking any questions. Um, but what does it communicate that that person can't see outside of himself? 
He can't grasp, okay, here's the dynamic of the group, here's the environment, here's the context, this is what's going on. It just communicates that he has no social intelligence, no social intuition. What would be appropriate to the context here? For example, asking a question that adds value, that adds to what we're talking about. When you ask the question, same thing. Here's, there's two ways. Jordan. I'm like, yeah, what's up? Say we're building, there's a lot of energy. What's up? Um, I have a, a question with the um, social intelligence. And, and yeah, that's the question. That kills, that sucks the fucking energy out of the room. Everyone's like, what? It's like you're building, it's like, dun, 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 <laughs> done. Don't do that. That is so low social intelligence. We're just rambling for too long. You know, I kind of cut a few people short uh, earlier on where it's like, I have a question. So when I was five years old, and here's my entire life story, I'm like, what's the question? I'm getting to it. And when I was seven, this thing, it's like, okay, what's the, when I was nine, it's coming, it's coming. It's like, what's the damn fucking question? That is something that also sucks out of the room, okay? Um, the way you ask it, it's always like, add in the vibe, add a smile, add some energy, let's pump it, let's create something here together. That's appropriate to the context. Um, some other examples would be, you know, say, say I tell a joke right now and say everyone laughs. What would not be appropriate would be to be like, say I do the joke, everyone's laughing, and I'm like, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. By the way, do you guys really get the joke? It's funny because this equals this, ha ha. That kills it. That sucks the air out of the room. Do you guys get this? I hope. Yes? All right. Um, there's another one too. This was in, uh, it was uh, Jeff. He was with a, a client. And he was like standing on this, uh, on, the, on this stair thing. And he was talking to this girl who was like really, really tall. And uh, she was joking because he's small, but he's standing on it. And she obviously knows he's standing on it. She's joking, oh man, you're really tall. And he's like, yeah. And he like jokes around with it. The guy who's with Jeff, he's like, no, 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 no. Listen, let me, let me interrupt everyone. Let me interrupt. Um, he's actually not tall. Look, there's a step. So you see he looks tall because he's standing on the step. <laughs> that just kills. It sucks the vibe out. There's no, there's not that social intelligence. And this is something that you have to learn, okay? And the way you learn this is very straightforward, but not necessarily easy to do. It's massive social references and pattern recognition. Yes, in the back. Hi. <laughs> now, a couple of things. Great, when you say great event, okay. Pause, 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 pause. Oh my God, oh my God, okay. Best example of social intelligence. Number one, it didn't seem like you fucking mean that great event, man. First of all, um, uh, great event. Where is the smile? Great event, man, fuck yeah. And number two, number two, if I talk, listen. But no, but the three points. Okay, what are your three okay. points? I hope they're not three complaints, but proceed. I want to give like three points because you said that, and I think it's important for the others to know. First, you said when you move to LA, it's a Yes. Okay, pause. Are you, do you think right now, and I'm going to sound like a dick, but it's for your own good. Do you think right now, people, it, you're, you're adding or taking, do you think people are into what you're saying? No. You want to know why? Because they came to see me. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm just... <laughs> the intentions are really good behind what you're saying, but then it's like the context. So there's always an appropriate context. And because your intentions are good, that's awesome, but because you don't, are not aware of the context, it just that happens in like just any interaction. It's like if you, again, don't seek to understand first, understand who that person is, where they're coming from, who the crowd is, where they're coming from, what the context of this event is, it's not gonna click and it's gonna make things worse. That's like me coming up to a fucking, I don't know, business event, and I interrupt the guy speaking. Or say, say you're in fucking university, and there's a teacher like, okay, so this is what you do. And they're like, um, sir, 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 uh, first of all, great class. Um, I love what you're writing there. He's gonna be like, the fuck's this guy? And, but, but I just wanna make it clear for all these who didn't understand, uh, let me just repeat what you said. 
So guys, with two plus two, it makes four. And I think that's very important you understand as teacher told us. Great point, sir. The second thing he said, everyone's like, dude, we were all there. <laughs> we appreciate it, we were all there. But who the fuck are you? <laughs> Not to diss it again, the intention's really good, it's just like that awareness of the context. It kills every time. And that's what I'm saying, it's shocking too, because, I mean, how the fuck would you know? You know, it's like, it's all through these different references. If you're just spending a lot of time, and this is everyone today, on the fucking computer, and then you go out in the real world, you have no idea. Because on the computer, guess what? There's a live video, a webinar. What's next to that fucking webinar? The chat box! Hey guys, dick pics and all this weird shit. <laughs> and then you come to a seminar like this and you're like, I guess the chat box is I just speak up in front of everyone. <laughs> dick pics, yes, no, it's... <laughs> the context, the context, the context. And again, it's like, it's, it's harsh to say here and Again, I really appreciate it, and I do agree with everything you said, by the way. That's what I'm saying. The place it's coming from and what you're saying is fucking on points, but because it doesn't connect, it just kills. And you'll repel a lot of people um, just in terms of who you meet after this in your life if you don't start to it, because you could be the greatest guy, intentions, have the greatest ideas, but it won't click with other people because of that. This is Julian, and welcome to Transformation Master. It was fucking amazing. This was huge for me. This was so, so important. This gave me by far the greatest epiphanies I've ever had. And we got like real deep, and I found some issues within myself. One of the best things I've seen so far in my life. What you're about to experience going through this program is what completely changed my life on every single level. Okay, be it health, wealth, relationships, higher purpose, you name it, this is the stuff that finally, finally produced that true, long-lasting personal transformation we're all after.